All right, let's move on. We talked about how to solve um, quadratics that are with uh, lead coefficient of 1. We did ones that had uh, something different in front of it, including negatives. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to sort of go back and look at our um, special products, and we're going to reverse those. And then a lot of this is just sort of recognition. You're just looking to find um, find patterns in this, see if you can recognize them. <coughs> All right, quick visit at our uh, standard again. All right, so let's review real quick. Here's a couple of binomials, and these are like the special products, right? So this one is called a difference of squares, um, and it's called um, because when I do this, I'm going to do x x squared, right? And then when I do negative 7x and then positive 7x, those cancel out, right? And then I'm left with minus 49, okay? So I want you to notice the, the, the link between these two, okay? And then this is a perfect square, so x squared plus 3, or x plus 3 squared, so I'm going to get x squared. And then if you remember correctly, what we're going to do is we're going to get 3x twice, so it's plus 6x, right? It's this times this, 3 times x times 2, and then plus 9. And those are your <clears throat> expanded sort of special products. Difference of squares here, difference of squares, perfect square. Okay, so looking at this, hopefully you can just quickly factor this and look at this and say, oh, y squared minus 16, perfect square, perfect square, difference of squares, y minus 4, y plus 4. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to that one. Okay, see, uh, see if you can decide on this one. Okay, here we go. We've got a perfect square and a perfect square and a difference. So I know that the, the square root of 25x squared is 5x. The square root of 6 is, or 36 is 6, so 5x minus 6. And then I've got 5x plus 6. And these are both equal to 0, which means that I can now solve them. So I get 5x minus 6 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to 6 fifths. Or I get 5x plus 6 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to negative 6 fifths. Okay, so essentially my answer here is x is equal to plus or minus 6 fifths. All right, moving on. Looking at this one, okay, I'm looking and I'm saying, okay, perfect square. Perfect square is the middle here, right? Is it this, the square root of this, and the square root of this doubled? Well, let's see, the square root of this is 6. The square root of x squared is x. 6 times x times 2 is 12x. Looks good, and I'm just going to have to make sure I make up... <coughs> minus. All right. Now, what this? Uh, let's see. Let me let me fix this. Let me redo this for you. Um, it's really gonna. So let's say you do x minus six, and then x minus six is both equal to zero. So you're basically getting. What happens is there are two solutions here, but you're just getting the same answer twice. So then I'm going to get x minus six is equal to zero. So x is equal to six, and I'm going to get x minus six is equal to zero, and x is equal to six. Okay. You don't need to do them both once you recognize this. Um, and in fact, what you could do, and what I did to begin with, is if you just said x minus six squared is equal to zero, you can just from here just solve it once. All right, 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. I'm looking at this, and I'm going to say again, is the beginning a perfect square, is the end a perfect square, and is the middle the square root times the square root times 2, right? So I'm looking at this, and I'm saying perfect square, so that would be 3x plus 4, okay? But minus 12, so minus, what's the square root of 4 is 2. Is this squared? So I'm going to do 3x times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12, and it works. So this is equal there. So I get 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Uh, x is equal to 2 thirds. Okay. And again, this answer is repeated twice because there's two of those. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, why don't you go ahead and you try doing these two? Go. All right, hopefully you saw this one. You saw 4m squared. That's a perfect square. 36 is a perfect square. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say two, uh, 4m squared is 2m, and that's going to be minus 6. And then I'll do 2m plus 6, and those are both equal to 0. So I've got 2m minus 6 is equal to 0, so m is equal to 3. And then I also have 2m <coughs> plus 6 is equal to 0, so m is equal to negative 3. 
All right. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. Okay. Next, 2g squared minus 20g plus 25. Well, those are not perfect squares, right? But what I'm going to do, look here first, is I'm going to say, okay, you know what? There's a common factor of 2. So let's factor out 2 and see what I get. So I get 10g plus 25 is equal to 0. And now I'm looking at this, I'm saying, ooh, wait a second. This is a perfect square, and 25 is a perfect square, and those multiplied times each other, doubled, is going to be that. So I'm going to go to g minus 5 squared is equal to 0. So g minus 5, let's see, <coughs> negative 5 times g times 2 is negative 10. g squared, 5 squared, looking good. So now I know that g minus 5 is equal to 0, so g is equal to 5. All right, and there we have it. That's pretty much, that's really, that's all that we're going to do. We're going to do a little practice on this on... Uh, <clears throat> the next time we meet, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at just quickly recognizing these, um, and then we'll have another quiz um, on that. Okay.